Hey guys, hope you're all good today. In the previous videos, we saw how to uh, use the lookup transformation as a passive transformation, and in case of multiple values, we used four options which were use first value, last value, any value, or report error. Today, we'll take a look at the use all values uh, option. The lookup transformation can be used as an active transformation as well. With the new version of Informatica, this is Informatica 9.x, lookup is made as active transformation. What it means is that the transformation now can return multiple matching rows. If you have worked with previous versions of Informatica, you would be categorizing a lookup transformation as passive transformation. In the properties tab, you will see below options for the lookup policy on multiple matches. <coughs> Use first value, last value, any value, or report error. With Informatica 9, a new option has been added under this property that is called use all values. If you create a lookup in Informatica 9 the way you need to use to create in Informatica 8, you will not see this option. Let's take a look at an example where we'll see how to enable this option in, it, in Informatica. This is the mapping that we created earlier where we transferred data from the employees table and used departments table as a lookup table. <clears throat> and so let's create a new mapping for the active lookup transformation. Go to mappings, create, enter its name as m underscore employees underscore all underscore values. So let's bring in <clears throat> the source table, which is the HR's employee table, the target table. And now let's bring in the lookup transformation. Over here you'll see a checkbox called return all values on multiple matches. Select that. This will make your lookup transformation as active transformation. This cannot be selected later. And select the departments underscore test table as the table. Now bring in the departments table, departments ID column <coughs> to the lookup transformation. This is the way you used to do it earlier. In the conditions, add a new condition it will automatically be department ID equal to department ID. In the properties tab, you cannot edit this, but it's already selected as using all values option. Click apply. Okay. And now if you try to uh, send these all of these columns from source qualify to target, you'll see <coughs> that they go. But from the lookup table, a few of the columns the department name and location ID, they won't be able to go there. This is because it is an active transformation. To send data to the target table, you need to send the data, all of the columns, first to the transformation, the lookup transformation, and then you need to populate the target table all from the lookup transformation. So let's move the department name column a bit down, or department ID column a bit down. Click apply. Okay, and now let's auto link all these columns to the target table. Click OK and use the department ID from this table over here and location ID, manager ID this. Now save your work and let's move on to the workflow manager to create our mapping is our sessions it's valid okay in the sessions create a new workflow called wf underscore employees underscore lookup underscore all values Create a new session for the mapping that we created and link the start of this workflow to the session. Rename the session and with the M underscore for naming convention purposes. Select the fail parent if task fails property in the properties tab. Select the right backward compatibility log file and as a source connection given HR and for the target connection given target. In the config objects, give 5 as the value for session log run saves and stop on error as 1. In the mappings, given the source connection variable as dollar source, 
and for the target given dollar target as a connection variable for the lookup select this as normal and scroll down to truncate table option as well in the lookup transformation the source relational is dollar source save your work and now let's start the workflow it's running and previously we learned that 107 rows used to be loaded into a target table but now 109 rows have been loaded this is because there were three rows corresponding to the department id 10. if we take a look over here we'll see that the lookup transformation is ordered by department id but all of it is loaded so we don't need to see this doesn't really matter let's go to the department uh, to the target table and see that all the three rows for department id 10 have been loaded with administration administration new and administration underscore test so this is an important uh, new feature in informatica 9.x where the lookup transformation can be used as passive and active as well but you need to specify that while creating the transformation because you cannot edit it later so hope you have a better understanding of the lookup transformation in the next video, we'll take a look at an unconnected example of this transformation. So stay tuned. Till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye.